Hello everybody and welcome to this week's episode of The Legacy of the Rimland, a new tabletop adventure featuring some very lovely people. Now, before we go into what happened last time, I'd very much like to ask these very lovely people to very briefly introduce themselves once again and their characters and I swear we're not going to mix it up this time, uh, but funnily enough, the dice have decided that the order should be the same as last time's mixed up order. So, show and tell. Could you please go on ahead and talk a little bit about yourself and your character? Yeah, gladly. Um, hi, I'm show and tell. I play as Angel, An Angel uh, who's um, a peasant who's house has been uh, looted by soldiers, his family was killed, except for his sister who was kidnapped, and yeah, now he needs to figure out what he does. Yep, yep, and we will see what he does indeed, thank you. And next is going to Basha, no, 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 it's Delhi, it's Delhi, not mixing it up this time. <laughs> Delhi, can you please go ahead and introduce yourself very briefly? Absolutely. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Deli, um, and today uh, I'm going to be playing as Moonin, same as last time, obviously. So Moonin is uh, a person of mystery, um, that, but they are sort of known for their secrets. They're a keeper of secrets and a seeker of knowledge, um, and they put uh, they put that above all else, sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, that's basically. That's basically it. Right. Um, I would also like to ask you, and I'm also going to ask uh, Ashen this, since you and Ashen added some slight changes to your character. Uh, the viewers can also see it on screen. But can you also, like, very briefly describe uh, what has changed, mechanically speaking, for your character since last session? Yeah, of course. So um, since last session, I've added uh, uh, a few stunts to my character's uh, uh, character sheet. So um, the first stunt that Moonin can perform is uh, a plus two to their clever stat, temporarily, that is, uh, whenever reading old tomes or manuscripts or, you know, anything of sort of knowledge, if that makes sense. If he ever needs um, to decipher it, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, and their second stunt, so Moonin has keen eyes, uh, so whenever... Uh, so once per per game, Moonin can learn someone's aspect, um, and of course this would basically only apply to like uh, NPCs. Um, yeah, yeah, more ba or less. Basically, uh, for people who may not know like the rules of Fate Accelerated, um, player characters know each other's aspects already, um, so they don't have to like jockey between each other for like spying on each other or whatever. Mm -hmm. Right. Thank you very much, Delhi. And next, Ashen, could you please go ahead and talk a little bit about yourself and your character? Of course. Uh, hi, I'm Ash, and I'm going to be playing as the lovely, handsome, tall Ilona, <laughs> <laughs> uh, my very sneaky lady. And um, she's an exiled noblewoman from Tivia. And I added another stunt to her, which is, or like the fir the first stunt, which mm -hmm. is that in um, once per session she can like escape any situation. Yep, uh, definitely she can. But I will say, um, the stunt only applies to Ilona. Uh, so like, um, if Ilona decides to use her stunt while the rest of the party is like surrounded by bad guys or whatever, um, they're on their own. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you very much. So, last time uh, on Legacy of the Rimlin, we had our brief introduction episode uh, where three people walked into a tavern as is traditional with Dungeons and & Dragons and met each other. Um, now, the tavern is situated in the village of Ampho and it isn't really a tavern, more like a richer peasant's house that they've converted into a makeshift tavern. What is like generally happening in the, in the world is that a big war has just come to an end, soldiers have just come and gone home and the one of the armies has like just passed through this village on its way home. Um, and 
our three people, our three people, one of whom is a local, have met in this tavern. Um, and after like interacting with some of the local NPCs, it was a very tutorial-like session again. Um, this guy on the bottom of the screen that you can see um, barged, in, barged into the tavern and offered like a somewhat impressive sum of money, asking um, you free, because you free volunteered, uh, to go look into the ruins that you will see on the western side of the map to find an orb, a sphere or something. Now, I will mention, you all did agree to this, but um, you are also entirely free to do pretty much whatever the hell you want. Like, say you decide we're going to the ruins and taking the orb, the sphere, but not returning it to this guy. Or you're not even going to go on this little adventure at all. Um, you're free to do, again, whatever you please. And also, a uh, little fun fact, this guy who offered you jobs, um, remember like the maps I made for uh, you, dear player characters, of like the overall world, etc. Uh, they're like signed in like the bottom right corner by the court geographer of the Duke of Veneto, aka this guy. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, cool. Mm-hmm. So, to like set the proper scene of like what's happening, um, it was raining outside and you guys like took refuge in this tavern where you met this gentleman. And you like briefly stepped outside, the rain is starting to die down, uh, where, and then he made the offer. And I would say at this point he would probably go back into the tavern with a very like satisfied look on his face like, oh yes, I just... Um, I'm going to achieve my goals by hiring these people. I'm, I'm very happy about this. He doesn't obviously say that, but that's like the expression on his face. And he's left the three of you um, on the po front porch of the quote-unquote tavern. Um, now, would uh, a quick question. Would you like me to remove the various NPCs from last time from the screen, or would you like me to keep them there for the moment? Like in case you decide to go back into the tavern or whatever. Um, yeah, I mean they can sort. Of, I don't mind sort of keeping them there. I don't know about anyone else. Um, I don't mind either. I don't think I'm going into the tavern again, so it's up to you. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay, and uh, I forgot about um. Um, I was looking at the wrong screen anyway, but I forgot about one thing, aka uh, background music. Um, Delhi will probably recognize this, but uh, yeah, it'll be a bit quieter because it was too loud last time, but um, we can't have a D&D &D session without that. <laughs> so, um, the floor is yours. Again, you can like start going towards the ruins, you can go in any other direction, you can do pretty much whatever whatever you'd like because that's the magic of Dungeons and Dragons okay well um, I think Moonen would probably be quite eager to sort of start the uh, start the sort of mission I suppose but uh, I don't know about what does everyone else think what is, um, what is what's everyone, everyone else's mind I think um, Ilona's pretty much there as well. She just want to make sure that nobody's following or like having too much ice on them from the tavern. So I think she would like peek in the window and just see that everybody's minding their own business. Hmm. Can you... I will say the windows are kind of dirty. Can you uh -huh. give me... Well, actually, I should ask. You see that the windows are dirty. Do you like try to peer through anyway to like see what's going on or... Yeah. Okay, then give me a careful, let's say, difficulty two to see how much you see. Oh, Yay! Okay. Um, you see that, like, as like this gentleman walked back into the tavern after causing that ruckus, everyone in the tavern is like staring at him, and he doesn't like seem to notice. Instead, he like merely goes to um, what you call it, the bartender lady, and like he seems to be asking for a drink or whatever. And you see the bartender lady coughing as usual. Okay. Let me know if you like keep looking uh, or if like you all do something else. But so I basically have confirmed that nobody's like having attention to us. 
not to you. Um, well, maybe not right now, but they're definitely they are definitely paying attention to this gentleman. Including the NPCs that you uh, did not interact with, like the table foremost to the left, for instance. Mm. Once again, the floor is yours. You will see that the rain is like starting to die down, so like the excuse for going into the tavern um, is no longer there, so to say. Okay. Well. Yeah, like I said, if I'm, um, if I, I, uh, would prefer to sort of wait for everyone else to, before we head off, um, so if anyone else sort of wants to sort of get anything done before we leave, uh, then by all means. I should mention for show and tell, uh, since Angel is a local, feel free to, like, um, invent some uh, a person like say um you want to go to like a childhood friend's house we can say okay we'll make up a childhood and friend npc on the spot um no worries whatsoever because you're a local and i obviously like did not design every single individual person in this village okay okay cool um and no i don't think he has any friends <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> Do we get going then? Uh, yeah, we can go. I think uh, I think Angle's uh, ready to go too. Okay. Um, then I will like remove the uh, NPCs on the map. I'll only keep like the bartender lady and put her where like the proper bar is, so that you know geographically where that is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay. Dumb. So, as you go, um, again, are you like going straight to the ruins or are you like stopping at any point on the way? Um, well, is there uh, anything? Would there necessarily be something on the way, if that makes sense? Yeah. Not necessarily on the way, other than like various peasant houses. This isn't a big village. The only landmarks are the tavern, which is probably the second biggest house in the village, and the local okay. church, which is on the southern entrance of the village. But it's not like on the way towards the ruins. Okay. Um, well, I mean, I'm I'm sort of uh, all for sort of going straight to the to the ruins. Okay. The church. I will say the church does <clears throat> uh, sort of pique my interest, but I mean, if I uh, we could sort of like leave that for another time. Uh, I'll mention like the local people follow a different denomination of the big religion that um, theoretically, at least, you all are part of, uh, as in different from yours, Moonin, and probably Lona's as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah, that's definitely that definitely sounds interesting. Then I I want to like uh, sort of take a look at some point. Okay. So are you going to the church or to the ruins? Up to all of you again, uh, and feel free to discuss this also like also in character, but also out of character. <laughs> okay. Um... Uh, I think we should go to the ruins first. I mean, you we could always like catch up to us if you wanted to go to the church now, but. Uh... No, I wonder, do. does uh, do the peasants like go to church a lot? I mean, oh yeah, do they... oh yeah, yeah. Uh, every Sunday, uh, if you don't go to church on Sunday, people think that there's that oh, you're like yeah. uh, crippled or something. Um, and probably um, there's a lot like a... of there's a lot of okay. holidays. Yeah, uh, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm wondering if like I mean because uh, do they think the ruins are like this mysterious place that they should be scared of or something? Mm, good question. Um, they think that the ruins uh, were once built by the greatest prince of this kingdom um, who lived like 200 years prior to this. But the scholar you just met so told you that no, those ruins are like far older than that. Oh, mm. okay. So it's, okay. But uh, um, other than that, um, the ruins 
they don't people don't really go there that often it's marshland which isn't like much you can do with uh, they usually go to the ruins in case they need building materials to like get the stones from like the ancient right, tower etc right mm. uh okay. well okay let's, I... let's just go i guess yeah yeah okay. i'm 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 up for sort of just going straight to the ruins <clears throat> okay um uh, just as a quick aside um for angel's character uh, even if he is not like particularly religious and i leave that entirely up to you show and tell if he is or not he probably would like still go to church just out of like social obligation make sense yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay so as you're walking on your way uh towards the ruins uh let me know are you going like F uh, straight along the river are you going like more through the forest um feel free to also like ping the map you can hold down your left mouse button to ping okay hold down and release basically yeah yeah um i think the woods are good <laughs> i figured or you would say that <laughs> <laughs> uh, i mean i don't think i like i don't think i'll go mines so Above board, Angel, those woods are basically when the war first started, the people of the village mostly left and hid in those woods to, like, escape any oh, possible okay. looting, basically. So you might still see, like, trash or people only, like, picking up their belongings to move back into the village, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. Oh, so there might be people there. Yeah. And Milona doesn't know that. I mean, only I don't know, you know if she that. might. Only you know that. Only you know that, yeah. Mm, okay. I mean, I don't know if I can figure out that she's trying to not, like, not meet people, but okay. Um, I think the only thing you know about the about Ilona and Moon is that they're not locals. I think that's the only yeah. thing you know. Do we know oh. that uh, Angel is local? Uh, he definitely looks local, but I, okay. he obviously hasn't said one way or another if he is or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, well, I'm I'm fine with sort of like, um, I mean, sticking in the group is probably a good idea. So like, um, even if we don't all like sort of stick together, sort of thing, I don't mind going through the woods. Yeah, we can go. Yeah. Okay. Uh, An Angel, I w for your character, since like your backstory was that your house was burned down, family killed, etc., etc., by soldiers. Would you say that maybe your family like didn't flee into the forest with um, most of the other villagers when the war started, or like maybe what's the reason why they were like caught in the open, unlike everyone else? Mm, yeah, I was wondering about that when you. You know, when you mentioned it, I was like, okay, so my, his family's dead behind. Uh, well, it, can, uh, it can also be like they, like, return to the house for, like, say, a few hours, and it happened to be some very unlucky hours. Yeah, maybe. We can workshop it uh, at any rate. Uh, no worries, you don't have to, like, answer. Yeah, if I come up with a, an idea, I'll let you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. So... You all proceed into the into the woods. Um, how are you going about? Like, are you trying to be more mm, stealthy, or are you just walking casually? How are you going about? <clears throat> I think I'm looking for like footsteps or signs of life, or like very. You don't like, even careful. need to roll. There's footsteps everywhere, and in fact, you ah. do see you do see like people coming out of the forest and going back to the village, and people going like to the forest to like retrieve various items etc etc okay mm -hmm. very nice um i think i'll sort of try and keep a low profile sort of thing like not exactly um uh not exactly hiding right from other people or whatever but like just sort of cautiously moving on i guess <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah hood up for sure yeah 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 definitely <laughs> <laughs> then you will definitely see like the f the people you encounter will all like definitely like give you odd looks and give you guys a wide berth because you're not locals and anyone who's not a local is suspicious basically. Mm -hmm. 
But if uh, Anne goes with them, it doesn't. I oh, mean, okay. It, they... it, it just it just makes Angio look suspicious. <laughs> yeah. Okay. They already. Yeah. He's already not. I think. Well. I mean. I don't know. People don't. Yeah, we talked about that. He was uh, kind of odd, and people didn't really. Mm -hmm. Right, odd, but he isn't like, um, how should I say this? He isn't like a pariah or anything. He is just seen as like yeah. odd, or maybe like he was. He people think he was unfortunately cursed or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You do again. People will generally give you a wide berth. Um. Maybe one or two people that like your family, Angel, got along better with, like give you a polite wave but not really talk much to you and maybe you'll get like unfortunately one or two people like alongside the wave ask uh, ask you hey i'll sell uh, if you sell me uh, your family land i'll give you mm -hmm. a good price mm -hmm. yeah we heard that already <laughs> i guess i just kind of nod at them or something <laughs> um Unfortunately, it's an important matter for them. Um, in their eyes, your yeah. family is already already dead, like your sister included. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I understand it's important if it keeps coming up. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, um, again, feel free to like stop me at any point. But you walk deep, deeper into the for and deeper into the forest. Um, can you ping on the map like what's your like final destination like? the two obelisk things or the tower what are you heading for specifically um i think the tower right yeah yeah it probably looks, looks more like we can probably see it more clearly maybe sure sure did definitely. you say sorry not to interrupt did you say to double click on the map to like uh, it? no uh it's uh click and slightly hold down the left mouse button i see sorry <laughs> okay um yeah, like that. Just like that. Okay. Um, so after like a short walk through the forest, because you don't really need to walk through the forest for that long to go towards the tower, um, you exit the forest and you see uh, the gr the grasslands that separate the forest from the ru from the marshland and the ruins, and further ahead, m the marshland that contains said ruins. Now, I will ask again: Are you like? Now that you're like away from quote unquote civilization, are you going casually, more stealthily? What's like your approach? Um, I think, uh, again, sort of uh, proceeding with caution is probably the uh, term I'd sort of describe it. Uh, Moonin is, you know, uh, keeping an eye out. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think I would also be like more careful now than I was before, like yeah, yeah, checking yeah. for more like footsteps or signs of life. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, can uh, what about you, Ango? Uh, I think he's on guard all the time. Mm. <laughs> I think he's like jumpy. <laughs> then can all of you give me a careful roll? It will be difficulty four. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, careful. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, okay. Angel, you recognize some familiar tracks on the, on the what's my called on the ground, wolf tracks. Oh. Okay. Oh, so I notice it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, I guess I can can I point it out to them? Uh. Sure. Um, feel free to tell me how. Um, tell us how rather. I mean, he points at it, and uh, it looks frantic. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and Il Ilona and Moonin, if you take a closer look, you definitely see that the tracks are fresh. Okay. Mm. Well, these don't look too good, do they? <laughs> what is uh? What, what's what's everyone thinking? Should we follow these tracks? Follow the tracks. Uh, like, are they in the same direction as the the tower, or like how? Um, they're the tracks. Mm. Give me another. Careful. Um, all of you, I should say. Also, difficulty four. Okay. Okay. Ooh. 
Okay. Um, Ilona, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ilona and Ang Angel, you see that there are a handful of tracks that are heading back uh, into the forest, like a minority of them. Um, the rest of them seem to be uh, heading towards the marshland. Okay. So the wolves are like going into the forest or went into the forest? A few of them are, but the majority of them are going to the marshland. Okay. AKA the place where you're also going where to. Where we were supposed to go. Okay. okay. Okay, so that I suppose that just basically means like um if we're already going in that direction we might want to be um a little bit careful because we might have a little some, you know we might have some company <laughs> when we get careful. there yeah. um do we have watching out of character for a little bit like is there anything we could do to like uh distract them or fight them yeah i was thinking uh does anybody have a weapon i mean i have a knife but it's more for carving but i guess i could use the i don't know <laughs> um thing is like fate accelerated is a very flexible system as in <laughs> If like, if like for say, well, none of you are particularly flashy, but if one of you were say a flashy character, you could say, I roar very loudly to try to scare the wolves, and that's very much something oh. you can do. But none of you are flashy, so right. try to think of narrative things that you can do that might fit in with like your best stats. Um, okay. Angel and Moonen are very careful. Ilona's very sneaky, um, etc. As to weapons, um, that's I leave it entirely up to you. I will say like the technology level, like the best weapon you could have would probably be like a flintlock pistol or a musket. Uh, not, okay. Not something very practical against like a pack of wolves. Mm -hmm. I think I have a like two daggers or something like that. Sure. Mm -hmm. I thought. Maybe, like, we could see if we could hunt down a smaller animal. And, like, if there were wolves, <laughs> we could, like, distract them by, like, throwing that away. Um, food for a short while. Let's see what you mean. Uh, someone with, like, a bow and arrow or something would be, like... Yeah. Like, that would be great for that. But, obviously, I mean, I... I uh, obviously, I don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> Neither do yeah. I. That's right. But, I mean, it's not impossible to, like... We can still sort of do that. Um, just above board, Angel, you know that hunting is, generally speaking, illegal. That's more of a privilege of, like, the prince and the boyars. But mm -hmm. who's gonna tell? <laughs> <laughs> Not me! <laughs> <laughs> okay. I right, see. So, could we sort of look around for something, like, uh, something small to mm -hmm. sort of catch first? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um... Okay. Which one of you would be uh, would be looking, um, or like all of you? I leave it up to you. Um, I mean, I could sort of, uh, I could look. It, it depends. Which stat would it be? Would it be like? Um, it would be careful. It would be careful because it's again noticing your surroundings, finding out right. something. Okay, and I leave okay. it up to you. <laughs> okay. uh, okay. I don't mind looking around because obviously I've got like a high high careful stat. Okay. Uh, uh, me too. But yeah, yeah, I will allow multiple people to roll if you want, uh, but I will say that the difficulty will probably be six. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Uh, so, angle. Uh, should you and I sort of look around? Yeah. Okay. So okay. we both roll, basically. Yeah. 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 I mean, cool. I can roll too if it's. Yeah. Like, yeah. No yeah. restrictions. All right. Cool. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Hello>. oh no <laughs> <laughs> okay so um again we can take these rolls which means you fail or we can or you all have the option of spending fate points to invoke one of your aspects which would allow you to either re-roll or improve your rolls by plus two and since well, well none of even with a plus two it wouldn't reach six you can yeah. stack you can stack like say i invoke this aspect and that aspect i spend two fate points etc you have this option i'm not saying you have to or should do that but you do have that option mm. 
what is I don't what think I'm gonna. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't think, uh, I don't think I will either. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, do we have another plan? <laughs> I will say, um, generally speaking, this wo- this counts like in terms of game mechanics as an overcome role, like you're mm-hmm. trying to overcome a difficulty. If you fail on an overcome role. Uh, according to my discretion, it can either mean uh, nothing happens or something negative happens. Um, in this case, I think you do find tracks, but they're bear tracks. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that that does not mean you have to follow those bear tracks, just that you don't yeah, find like a small let's... animal. Yeah. Right. Okay. okay, that makes sense. So we fight the bear, then it's just kidding. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Well, I don't mind sort of like um, carrying on like without sort of bait, I guess. Yeah, we could just be like an extra bit careful and keep. I guess. Yeah. Mm Mhm. Okay. So you continue. You continue on your way. And now that you're, you know, to be on the lookout for wolves, you do, you do definitely hear their howls somewhere in the distance. Okay. First, of, first of all, I will need uh, a careful roll from the person in front, like leading the group, uh, to see if, like, he realizes where the wolves are and if he's able, able to lead the party well. How do we know who leads? You decide. Oh. So, who wants to be in front? <laughs> for me, it would make sense to like be in the back, because I, I keep like an eye. I mean, I think it would make sense for me to be in the front, maybe, because I'm like local or whatever. Yeah. I don't know. Sure. Yeah, that makes I sense. Think. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so careful, we said? Yes, yes. Difficulty two. Ooh, okay. mm-hmm. <laughs> you are able to like pinpoint their lo- their location. Um, and I'm guessing you are trying to avoid the wolves, correct? Yes. Okay. Then I will need sneaky rolls from all of you, but the difficulty will be lower because of this success. Okay? It will only need difficulty two. Okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No. <laughs> oh, no. 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 <laughs> <laughs> M- Moonin trips and falls on his face and yelps, and Ang- and Angel, I don't know. <laughs> <Does. just> so. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, unless you'd you'd like to spend fate points. Um, <laughs> oh God, just just, is... just to reiterate, what's like the con- like? Would there be consequences to spending uh, fate points? Um, you'd have fewer of them. That's the only consequence. Okay. Um, I don't mind spending a fate point if Ang- if Angel sort of spent one two to sort of avoid it. But like, do you know what I mean? Like, I don't um th- think I. Yeah, should... I mean, otherwise, like the walls will come. Like that's what well, happened, basically. Right. <laughs> okay. Okay, so, so both... let's let's. Spend... <laughs> but okay, let's both spend one. I will ask. <laughs> um, let's like take it one at a time. Moonin, um, to spend a fate point. You have to justify it using an aspect and how it would be relevant in this situation. Okay. So, which aspect of yours would help you in this particular situation? Um, I suppose the keen eyesight one? Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, okay. I will take that. I agree. I'll take away your fate point. And you're using it to... Uh, you're using... I clicked the wrong thing. You're using um, this fate point to improve your roll by plus two, correct? That's correct. Okay. Um, again, just to reiterate, um, you also have the option of re-rolling, but plus two w- would be sufficient in this case. Okay. Mm-hmm. And Angel, what about you? What aspect would you be invoking? Wait, I don't remember my aspects. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, they're on your character sheet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, mm, uh, uh, basically, to 
like I'm supposed to to like convince you why uh, it would work that basically um again you're in this in a specific situation um choose one of the aspects that you think would fit best uh and if i like don't agree you then would have to convince me okay okay um uh the fact that he's anxious <laughs> okay. like he's the does that make sense <laughs> yeah. yeah um i agree Above board, just because, again, we're at the beginning, uh, I would have also accepted that you're a local peasant. Being a local, you would know, like, the local area best. And uh, But I think this works as well. Okay? Okay, okay. Again, okay. I'm, just, I'm just mentioning this so that um, it might be easier in the future when we come across similar yeah. situations. Okay. Okay, awesome. So, um... I will say like Moonin and Angel, you probably like trip for a little bit, but manage to catch yourselves in the nick of time. Um, mm -hmm. Ilona is as silent as a shadow, uh, and you probably don't even you you probably don't even know where she is, um, but she's <laughs> still nearby. Um, and gradually, um, you sneak your way through the long grass, hearing the wolf growls. You first hear them like to the west, and then to the south, and then to the east. You've clearly circumvented them without, like, gathering their uh, their attention. And you continue on your way. Congratulations. Woo! Yeah. I just love the idea of, like, falling and tripping on your face, but silently. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you catch yourselves is basically the thing, <laughs> I suppose. Um, but again, Ilona, you're the stealthiest person yet, and probably... I imagine not even the rest of your party knows where you are with that role. Are we are we by the ruins yet, or do we still have a way to go? Uh, well, you if you look at the map, I would say you're around here. You're just like entering the marshland at this point. Would you agree? Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. um so, thing. obviously, I suppose we're like close enough to see the ruined tower uh, from here. Uh, definitely, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Okay. And um, you, um, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry. I was gonna say, uh, obviously, the Lorraine Tower looks interesting. So, um, does everyone sort of want to investigate that? Uh, yeah. Assuming yeah. that we <laughs> went or, or, uh, already doing that, of course. Sounds but, good. Yeah. We're just heading on there. Okay, yeah. Cool. So, uh, yeah, so if it's, yeah, I'd like, to, if that's cool, then we just sort of head over to the tower. Mm -hmm. um, I will ask Angel, have you been to the area before? Again, locals would only, like, generally go if they need building materials. The village does get, like, sacked and destroyed a lot because it's on the border, but yeah. Angel's yes, also I young, think... but it's so up to you. I think he, possibly, yes. Um... I guess. Mm -hmm. I mean, because he's like, yeah, he's strong and stuff. I think. Uh, mm -hmm. Then he's uh, friendly with enemies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I think you would know that the tower is a very good source of stone um, that you use, use for building. Um, mm -hmm. mo most houses aren't generally made of stone, so so much the better. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. You continue on your way. Um, are you, like, paying attention to see if you notice anything in the, like, bog land, or are you just, like, straight to the objective? Definitely watching around. Mm hmm Yeah. Okay. After the wolf scared. <laughs> Can um, any of you give me careful rolls? Uh, difficulty six? Uh, any yeah. of us? Any. Uh, yeah, uh, I can... No I restriction. Can there we are. Oh, shit. Okay. That's not good. <laughs> okay. I will say this isn't like... If you fail, it's not that something bad will happen. This is just to, just to see if you notice something. Okay? Mm -hmm. And people roll or is it just one? Oh, yeah. Well, all of you can roll if you'd like. Okay. Okay. Uh, Angel, are you rolling? Okay. Hmm. Close enough. Not enough. <laughs> Close enough, but not quite. Okay. Yeah. 
So you continue, you continue on your way, and you reach the ruins of the t of the tower along the river. Um, on the other side of the river, you see the various farmland of uh, the people of the village, and the tower itself is crumbling, definitely, uh, especially since people have like taken stones from like the foundation, um, which definitely has like weakened it. Let me know if you go inside. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I, go I inside? Definitely want to. Yeah, if you, go, <laughs> if you go inside the tower, yeah. I mean, okay, it's dangerous, but I guess, I mean, <laughs> uh, I guess. How else would we find this sphere thing? Well, nobody oh. said it's there, but yeah. I mean, how else would we search for it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> is it like, is it smarter if um, one person goes at a time? Just thinking that like three people yeah. there. I was, I was, I was sort of wondering that yeah. too. Um, if that's the case, I don't mind going first and then sort of like surveying everything, I guess. Okay. I can I can like keep watch um, outside. Yes, mm -hmm. I, I guess me too. Then <laughs> <laughs> off I go. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay. Uh, mooning as you enter the tower, um, it's how should I say this? It's not a particularly large tower on the inside. It has a um, I'm. I think, I'm trying to think of the term, you know, like the staircases that medieval towers have that go along the outside, like circularly? Oh, uh, like a spiral yeah, kind of thing? Yeah, 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 spiral staircase, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. there is a spiral staircase, but again, you do see, like, the tower is fairly ruined, and mm, you're not sure if, like, the staircase is safe. Okay, um... Could I sort of like uh, tread lightly uh, on this sort of staircase? Like, I definitely want to sort of traverse it, mm -hmm. I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Um, then give me a careful, it'll be difficulty four. I will mention uh, at the bottom level, you, at first glance, you're free to like take a deeper look, but you don't see anything in particular other than old stone, much of which has been carried away by the local villagers. Okay. So I can sort of uh, go. Uh, upwards, I guess, right? Or is, is it? Or am I going down? Uh, it will be upwards. It will be upwards. It will be up. Okay. All right. Cool. So, oh no. Hmm. Um, you take you take some steps. Um, and as you walk, as you reach like the tenth step, the let's say, uh, it like crumbles bef before your feet, and you fall down. You don't like take damage, but you are like stunned for a little bit. Okay. All right, that's that's okay. I, I'm I don't mind that. <laughs> um, would I be able to sort of like? Uh, would I be stunned for a while, or would I be able to sort of like pick myself up? Like, oh, you can pick you can pick yourself up. You can pick yourself up, but you get the inkling that if like you were to fall from higher up, like if a stair if a like stair thing were like to fall apart from higher up, and you would fall down. The stairs that are down might not be able to also support your like sudden weight. Makes sense. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Um. Well, if this isn't a rude question, mm. I don't suppose anyone could be lighter than me, could they? <laughs> I guess I don't know. Like. Uh... <laughs> how does your like? How's your character built? <laughs> <laughs> uh... Well, I mean, to be fair, he, uh, Moonin isn't exactly, um, I think Moonin's actually quite slim, so, uh, either way, it's not really, uh, I think it's risky for any of us, if you know what I mean. Mm. Um, I, I imagine Angel would be the biggest, then Moonin, then yeah, Ilona, yeah. I guess? Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh. I could do it, if... But I also wanted to do one thing before. In that case, I, I really want to like check on the outside of the building mm -hmm. if there's like any loose stone that would maybe contain something inside, or if there's a better way to get up from the outside route. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, then Ilona, give me a careful, please. It'll be 
Actually, uh, just give me the careful and according to your role, I'll tell you what you find out, okay? Right. Hmm. Four. Okay. You uh, are able to find like some loose stones that probably make gro for great building materials. Uh, you definitely see that they're... You definitely notice that like the way these stones are like carved, even though these are ancient ruins, they're perfectly usable right now it's very very clearly great um stonemanship not stonemanship masonry masonry if that makes sense um it's also a wonder why the tower is still standing you would be able to like find out say if you do like move were to move a stone loose you might be able to find out like a gold coin or two so no warp <laughs> uh, no <laughs> okay and for like climbing up, there, I didn't find anything about that. Uh, not with this roll. I'm sorry. Okay. I don't really know what to do with this. I. You do. You do find a gold coin. I will mention that the coin de definitely looks ancient. Like a coin would de usually have like the visage of like an important person or whatever. This is not a person you recognize. Okay. That is interesting. What do you think? Uh, uh, should I just like go up in the stairs or do we? Uh, it's up to you. I mean, I definitely, uh, I mean, I'm definitely interested, but it, is it worth risking like this, like, you know, falling from a good, uh, uh, a higher height? Do you know what I mean? Mm. Um, is there anything we could like do against it to prevent like carrying some branches? <laughs> mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can catch you when you fall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I was going to offer. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my fifty-one coins. <laughs> well, uh, we can do both. Um, so, taking it one step at a time. Um, Ilona, I think mentioned, uh, or I, I don't remember if it was uh, Ilona, um, you, Ashen, or Delhi, uh, about carrying branches. Okay. Either of you can like. Roll a careful uh, to create an advantage, uh, if you'd like. It'll be difficulty two. There's trees nearby. Um, can you go ahead and roll? Mm -hmm. uh, ah. Okay. So, um, with that, you are able to create an advantage, and you will be able to use this advantage to improve your rolls while climbing the stairs. Um, and... What would you like your disadvantage to be called, basically? Um. It's basically a temporary aspect that you guys are able to invoke for free. Light fall, I guess? <laughs> sure. So, okay. you now have the temporary aspect, light fall, uh, that you can also see on screen over here. And you can you are able to invoke it as if it were any other aspect to improve your roles. And also, as to I don't remember if it was Ashen or Shrun tell us the idea of I'll catch you if you fall. What you can I do I think Delhi said it. Oh, sorry, <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. So, um in terms of game mechanics, what you can say is um like one of you will be climbing, and the other player will be s providing assistance. What this basically um. what this basically means in terms of game mechanics is that um, the climbing player will get a plus one to their roll because the other player is assisting them. Narratively, you're catching them if they fall. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Are they also like looking for if if the um, like when I put my weight on the stairs? If it starts like wobbling from underside and tell me then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you can like take this very slowly and methodically, and uh, I'll set the <clears throat> sorry the difficulty dice lower. Okay. Yeah, sure. So, um, I will say before that while um, Ilona and Moonin were like scrambling about, because uh, this will like take a few minutes to like find a branch and etc. etc. What was Angel doing in this time? Uh, uh, I guess he was kind of, uh, 
I want to say look around, but I don't know. I mean, Ilona already looked around yeah, the yeah. tower. No, 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 you can, you can. Can you give me your own careful roll, please? Sure. Okay. Um, yeah, you don't find anything uh, special except like that the masonry is very fine. And in, if you ever decide to rebuild your house in this village, you can definitely use it. So. Yay! <laughs> so. <laughs> Uh, which one of you will be climbing the stairs at this point? Sai. Mm -hmm. And uh, Moonin and Angel, what are you two doing uh, while she is while Ilona is climbing the stairs? <clears throat> um, I will sort of be assisting um, with with the you know with the climbing. I suppose I don't mm -hmm. know if I'd be I don't know if Moonin would. Um, literally be just like at the bottom of the stairs like with their arms out or anything like that or like <laughs> maybe mooning in a more reasonable sense like mooning could be following behind and like if they're like not closely behind but like mm -hmm. uh, close enough where if elona sort of uh falls then mooning could possibly catch them uh but like also not so close that like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they would be full if that makes sense you know <laughs> yeah definitely definitely makes sense uh i would also imagine you're like stepping where ilona steps so you'd know where it's safe etc etc yeah yeah uh, okay in terms of game mechanics i will say that you're providing ilona a plus one to her role uh what would angel be doing uh can i also help like like assist Sure, but uh, describe uh, how in terms of like narrative, please. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, <laughs> I was about to say you're yelling encouragement, but you <laughs> won't be able to do that. <laughs> I just like scream at the bottom of the stage. You go, you go. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even do that. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, like I'm trying to think. He's strong. You should, mm -hmm. you should be and tall and kind of big. I, mm -hmm. He should be do, able to do something. But I'm not. Um, I mean, well, I guess he could like follow under kind of. Well, but then at some point it starts you growing up by itself. Of... You could sort of take my, although it's a bit comical, you could take my idea of like catching. <laughs> being, yeah, that's <laughs> what I was thinking. And catch <laughs> it is know, comical though, but I, I can kind of see him doing that. Honestly. Yeah, totally. if, if he's like tall and like strong and stuff, that would probably yeah. be quite, to be honest. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay. We can do that. So um, I'm guessing you switch roles with Moonin, as in you'll be providing Ilona with the assist. Oh. Or are you... What do you mean? Uh, well, I'm thinking in terms of game. I mean, that both of us can help? Both of you can, but I would say that, like, three people, including a bigger one walking on these stairs, might increase the difficulty. In terms I... of... In terms oh, of, like, no, I didn't mean... I didn't mean for him to... to okay, okay, okay. ...actually climb. I mean, like, yeah. he's just staying under, basically. Oh, okay, okay. If the... someone falls here. <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah. Um... Then I think, I think in terms of game mechanics, well, I give you two options, show and tell. You can either like assist them uh, in terms of game mechanics, which again will provide Ilona for plus one, and it would be like the mm, see, uh, encouragement that if I fall, at least there will be someone to catch me, so I won't like suffer anything. Or so it, you can either assist. Or you can try to create an advantage that they can use. Well, I leave it up to you. And I like I need to think of the advantage. Um, advantage. Well, it, uh, it um, for the advantage I would require you to roll, and if you meet the difficulty, I would allow you to um, create the advantage that they can then use um, to help themselves. Okay, but I need to like come up with something that would make sense. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know if I have an idea. Sure, uh, sure. Um, basically, it can be like um, the same thing that you're like standing there 
in case they fall um, and I would have you roll your careful uh, to create the advantage and the advantage and, the, and they would get like a temporary aspect that will say a safety net or something like that that they can then use like in case they fall or whatever. So I think these are your two options, either the aspect or just the simple assist where you don't even need to roll. Okay, and if I roll and I don't... If you roll and, and fail, um, <laughs> there might be a consequence of like, uh, you create an advantage, but I get to use the it against Ilona. Oh no. No. <laughs> Do we play it uh, safe? Okay. <laughs> In, yeah, in, pra in practical terms, uh, the advantage gives a plus one boost, but the aspect gives a plus two boost. So it's mm -hmm. basically, are you playing it safe or are you taking a gamble? Uh, uh, Ilona, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I think it's up to you or I mean, you're the one falling. <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, I think it'd be nice to play safe. Okay, so I'll just stand mm -hmm. at the bar. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, I was gonna. I was imagining that if Angel Fate failed his role, he would like stand there ready to catch, but he would like look very panicked and basically scare Ilona, <laughs> ah. um, <laughs> which would like provide her. With I was thinking, oh, he he stands there, but he falls somewhere else. <laughs> 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 or that, or that. But with the uh, simple assist, okay. So Angel and Moonin are providing Ilona of a plus two in total, one from each. Ilona, mm -hmm. you start climbing the stairs. Give mm -hmm. me, please, a careful roll, difficulty four. Uh, yeah. That is a free. You trip at the same spot where Moonin also tripped. Okay. <laughs> I don't take any damage for it either. Just no, no, gonna no. try again. You can try again. Okay. <laughs> Man, <laughs> sleepy stairs or what? Yeah. <laughs> it's li it's like uh, a video that accidentally rewound itself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I guess I try again. <laughs> sure. You're barely able to make it, but you do make it. Um, <laughs> this tenth step, I'll imagine, is like larger, the, bigger than the other the other steps, which caused you to trip. Okay, you continue. You continue up. Um, Angel at the bottom and at the bottom, and Moon in be uh, slightly behind you. Can you give me, please, another careful check? Difficulty five this time. Okay. Ah! Uh, unless you spend fate points, you would once again trip and fall. How much do I need to like not trip and fall? So it's a difficulty five. At the moment, you have a free from Angel and Moon in assisting you. Okay, um, so just one fate point. Sure, <laughs> you can also play it risky and reroll, but yeah. I think I use one fate point in this case. What are you invoking? Um, I am invoking uh, running from a past life. She has some knowledge up her sleeve how to not trip on stairs. <laughs> sure, sure. Okay. <laughs> that brings you up to a five. You are able to continue um, your uh, ascent. Your ascent. Um, as you continue walking, you, I, as a bit of a forewarning, you do definitely see that the steps. Basically, the tower is uh, more and more ruined the higher you fall, and it its foundation looks weaker and weaker because, again, people have like been pe picking stones from the bottom of the tower. Um, you are able you are able to reach like a small window where you are able to look around the, the nearby countryside, and you are also able to continue going. Uh, I would say at this floor you don't necessarily find any anything. Um, uh, other than like an empty chest that's been emptied out long ago. Okay. okay. Can I like peek up um, if there would be like make sense for a treasure to be there? 
Um, can, what do you mean? Pick up at what exactly? Like if I pick up and see if there's the uh, worst that looks like they have some treasure, <laughs> mm. just look up. Um, yeah, give me a careful difficulty too. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, you are able to see um, that there are there's one more floor and then there is the top floor, but you aren't quite able to tell if they have quote-unquote treasure or not but again this tower has been here for a long time and as the most obvious landmark it's probably been ransacked before okay all right did i continue what do you guys think uh it's although there's probably a chance that there's like you, you know stuff to be found it's probably not very likely so I don't know if uh, I don't know if it would be advantageous to risk like getting seriously injured. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what you guys think. Yeah, like I, I'm starting to doubt us there. I think um, if the orb was there, it would probably more like underground sea, right? Uh, mm. Like not by the tower, but like the other monuments, maybe. Hmm. Possibly, maybe. Yeah, impossibly. I mean, we can always look somewhere else, and, like, yeah. if we don't find anything. I mean, because this is really risky and stuff, but it's not going well for us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Up to you. Okay. Uh, I don't mind sort of uh, abandoning ship, as it were. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I guess. It feels bad to not follow through, but I'm yeah. doubting this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you don't need. You don't. You don't be afraid of FOMO, if that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, are you um, deciding it's not worth it to continue? Let's go back down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can I get another careful roll? It will be difficulty two to see if you manage to get down safely. Oh no! <laughs> oh oh shit. no! That. <laughs> That is a critical <laughs> fail. <laughs> no! Um, unless you spend fate points, are you spending fate points or? I mean, what are the consequences for this? Like, do I. You will trip and badly hurt yourself. Oh. Okay, I'm definitely using fate points. <laughs> <laughs> what are you invoking? Um, this Master of Escape. Mm, sure, I can see that. Are you using it to give yourself plus two or to reroll? I will say, um, in this specific circumstance, um, Ange would be assisting you because he's ready to catch you. Uh, but Moonen probably wouldn't be because he was behind you. <clears throat> so at this point, you have a minus one. I need a two. I guess I'm a reroll, or because like using a fate point wouldn't bring me up there either way, right? Yeah, you can also use your last remaining one to improve your roll. You know what? I'm I'm a, I'm a um take a gamble here and reroll. Okay, give me another careful. Much better. Oof. Okay. Af after you get like a brief flashback of in another universe, I tripped and broke my neck. But in this universe, oh, <laughs> in this universe, I'm gently st st uh, stepping with ease because I already know the steps. Um, and Moonin is able to follow you uh, successfully following in your footsteps. That's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> you return to the bottom of the tower. Uh, all three of you are together. Um, what do you three do? Um, could we, so the other, the other, the other thing that sort of, uh, is interesting is obviously this thing over here, right. but, um, we just like the church, I, uh, I think it would probably be a good idea to like leave that for another time if we, if we wanted to, uh, but then, uh, uh, if everyone's sort of 
uh, if no one's eager to sort of check this out right now, then I don't mind sort of like, I mean, sort of heading in uh, sort of back into the right direction towards sort of the objective, I guess. And well, well, what is your, the objective in your mind, Ellie? Uh, to get to like, to get to the, um, <laughs> uh, so to get to the ruins, right? So you are at the ruins. Right. Okay. Wait, is this? I mean, it makes sense. Okay, yeah, it so makes sense to go to the other part. Just, I mean. Okay. In that case, then yeah, let's let's go let's go this way. If everyone wants to. Yeah, I think so. Sure. Okay. As you per and proceed to walk through the marshland, can all of you give me careful checks again? It's just to see if you notice something, not anything else malicious. Okay. okay. <laughs> no, uh, sorry. Uh, but oh, yeah. we don't notice anything. <laughs> all you know, all you notice is the the like guy who hired you said, "Oh, this are these are the ruins of an ancient city or whatever." But definitely isn't big enough to be a city. It's like this. It's uh, confined to the marshland that you see on map, which was like extend very slightly to the west of the map, but not like too much. These are the really okay. the only two big landmarks that you see: the tower and the two like stones. Um, other than that, um, yeah, you see like various mm, like uh, how should I say it? Ruins, obviously, but like half submerged ruins in the marshland. Um, ruins that have been picked clean by scavengers or local villagers over the millennium. It doesn't re really look like there's much to see unless you, like, specifically decide to investigate. Let me know if you continue on your way or if you stop or anything else. I think we continue, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, as you approach the um, two uh, uh, sort of sto standing stones, uh, can I get another careful check from all of you? Difficulty four. Yay! <laughs> oh, nice. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Um, Moonin, do you also want to roll or just take um, Ilona and Angels? Up to you. Oh, I, uh, I think I uh, did a. So I, I rolled the two. I think. Oh, okay. So okay. I rolled the same as last time. Okay. Okay. My bad. My bad. So, no, that's okay. Ilona, Ilona and Angel, um, you would see like something odd about these like two standing stones. Uh, in that, um, like you're in the middle of marshland, um, all that, but for like a radius of one meter, or let's say like two meters from each standing stone, um, the land appears to be like dried up and dead if that makes sense. And you also see there's, uh, on the map, there is a long dead tree in the, in the middle. Oh, yeah. Let me know, like, um, what specifically would you be looking at over here? Uh, you mean like the towers? Um, uh, not towers, I don't know what they are. Let's uh, call them standing stones. Um, uh, standing stones. Sorry. Um, like if you're looking at a specific one, or like the space between the two of them, or the tree. Let me know. Okay, maybe I'll head for the tree. I think. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, is everyone else? I following? don't know. It's like hard to choose. I'm, mm, <laughs> like imagining Ilona was just trying to take everything in. <laughs> um. Okay, can hmm. I would ask uh, Ilona according to your background? How much attention did you pay to like when your tutors taught you about ancient history? I think pretty much. I think she got a bit inspired from that. Okay, um, then you would. I'm probably mooning as well. I don't even um, require like a role from the two of you. You do notice like um, inscriptions on the two stones, like they're carved uh, with something. Okay. 
and they're they are more or less representing um oh there there are first of all there's letters on the two of them um or both of them have the same lettering and they hmm can both of you give me clever rolls? Uh, Moon in your stunt would apply in this case. Okay. Mm. Moon in. Not very clever. Mm, I will say Moon in. Let's. I think it's good enough to get you a partial translation that this is. Um, it's inscribed with like the marking of a military unit of the ancient Rimlin Empire. Uh, like it says, this stone once belonged to this military unit, but you're not quite able to pick up which unit. Okay. Makes sense? Interesting. Yeah, that makes sense. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. um, as to Angel, since you were, you were going to uh, inspect the tree, but yeah. as you walk towards the tree, before you even reach it, um, you will notice that the ground below you. You were in marshland, so you were practically walking through like mud and very humid land. The yeah. ground below you it feels like solid stone. Oh, okay. Interesting. Let Can me... we like look for um, some sort of entrance or like if they were mm -hmm. uh, yeah, a place where the orb can be. Let me know where specifically you would look. I uh, guess between the two standing stones? Sure. Um, give me... Uh, to who, uh, This applies to anyone that's uh, looking there. Give me careful rolls, please. Is it okay. just uh, Ilona that's looking? I mean, I'm trying to understand how the tree is, uh, like, coming up from stone. Is it actually stone? Uh, the tree is not on top of the stone. Uh, what I meant to say was the ground that you walked on on your way to reach the tree was stone. Oh. Make sense? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Right. The tree itself uh, is not on stone, but I would say that it is. it looks very dead. Yeah, I still want to check it out, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, you check out the tree. Uh, can you give me your own careful roll? And I'll and I'll come back to Ilona's roll in a bit. Oh, okay. Hmm. Um, you are able to find um, what's your, what's your called? A what's the what's the word where like you know a bird or a squirrel makes a hole in a tree? You you know that word? <laughs> Basically, you. Uh. Yeah, you find a hole in the, in the tree, and and you poke around, and you find a handful of gold coins. Oh, cool! <laughs> uh, ancient old uh, gold coins. Ancient, but or... I ancient, but I will say that like um, the value of coins. Of gold. Yeah, of the value of coins isn't necessarily like uh, oh they are. Courage or their Florence or whatever. Rather, the value is measured by like the quantity of precious metal, and these yeah, okay. these look to be very pure. Okay, wow, awesome! Mm -hmm. Yay! <laughs> yeah, and you you've been mostly been dealing dealing in copper coins. This might be like the first time you've ever seen a gold coin. Wow. <laughs> Ilona. Um, I will say that you probably notice that there is a pattern um, like that's lining the ground uh, between um, the two standing stones. Okay. And you actually notice, um, like I mentioned, you it looked like you were walking, it felt like you were walking on like solid stone. Um, you actually notice that there, there is like grass uh, on top of this stone, but as you like dig it, it seems to be like fake grass, if that makes sense. Ooh. Very cool. And yeah. as you like unearth the gra the grass, you reveal what seems to be stone, like carved stone, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Well, like the their definition should be like some sort of um, room under in that case, right? 
I mean, I can't answer that question. <laughs> um, but I, I guess I'm just like search for uh, some sort of door or like. Uh... I will say, um, again, as you're like unearthing uh, very slightly in your um, investigation some of the earth, and you notice that there's a pattern of like multiple circles which seem to be overlapping each other um, with one in the middle. If you run your hand over a circle, um, it appears to light up with a blue light. Okay. Ooh. So, <laughs> I don't know what to do with this thing. <laughs> uh, that's so, really cool. <laughs> did you say there's, there's more than one circle, did you say? Or like... uh, basically, um, I will, I'll actually like draw it on the screen with like um paint Ooh, thingy nice um it's not like particularly complicated or pretty it's um uh, basically like a bunch of circles going like this overlapping a middle circle uh ignore my ugly drawing i'm drawing with only one with like a mouse uh but does that make <laughs> sense makes sense yeah. okay yeah it makes sense could we sort of put, um, so if they glow when you sort of hover your hand over one of them, if you, if, could I put my hand in the middle one so that they all glow at once? I will say, um, the circles do not respond <clears throat> to you, Moonen. Okay. Then I, I do that. <laughs> if you place your hand in the middle, then yes, they all light up at once um, and you begin to feel a slight rumbling underneath you wow okay <laughs> and you feel that the stone is moving ever so slightly mm -hmm. does it like I guess I keep holding my hand there until um, something sure uh, the stone moves but, uh, eventually um, as like Angel and Moon in watch in awe. Uh, these mechanisms are obviously unseen before. Um, and they you reveal a set of stairways uh, as like the stone moves that seem to lead underground. Oh, no. Okay. So who's going Who's going first? <laughs> I can go. Okay. Let me, All right. Let I... me change the background audio while I'm at it. <laughs> you should be hearing spooky cave sounds, basically. Oh no! <laughs> can Can I ask you if I can like tell if um this like cool mechanism or like the secret door has been used in a long time or is it like is it very well covered up so that nobody has used it in a very long time uh you don't even need to roll um right as you open it you feel very stale air and a very thick layer of dust nobody's been here in a very long time okay do we have like some sort of light with us that we could like to see better? I don't know, do you? Um Good question. Um Well, the question is like, would we necessarily we... need one? Sort of thing. If like should we take one just in case, like sort of fashion something out of like uh I don't know, like sticks or something. <laughs> I, I don't know. Oh, we can make, uh, you know, fire with stones, maybe? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's just, like, have everyone have a torch, maybe. I will say that it does appear that the stairway leads you towards a dark place, so you'll probably need light. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, have any of you made torches before? Yes. Okay. Uh... Um... 
sure, then I, I don't think I, I need to roll. You are able to find uh, some um, sticks and uh, pieces of wood that you are able to light up sufficiently and like keep it safe so that you don't burn yourselves, etc., etc. Okay. Awesome. Uh, so, do you proceed in? And let me know, like, in which order. Um, yes, I think we proceed in uh, very carefully, like very slowly. Definitely. Looking um, for like traps as well, like trying to see patterns on the ground that could indicate something like that. Ivana, you're first. Sure. Yeah, and I mean, I'll... you opened it. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Um, I don't mind going. Obviously, I'll go second. Okay. Mm -hmm. You uh, give me, um, all of you can give me careful rolls. Um, the, f yeah. Mm. Ilona, um, you would notice best that there are, um, like, again, the same pattern that you saw on the, st on the stone uh, and the opening, like the multiple circles overlapping each other with one in the middle. You see it repeated on the floor uh, and on the walls as you continue walking. You do also spot like some um, quote unquote ports that can be interpreted as traps, uh, like uh, what you would see like in a classic dungeon arrow trap, etc. cetera. Um, mm. But when you walk forward, they do not trigger. Uh, Moonin would probably see the patterns, but he would probably would not see uh, the traps unless Ilona points them out. And Angel, you're just, whoa, this place is fancy. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I, I think I would definitely point them out to everybody else, the, the traps. Okay. All right, Again, uh, <laughs> what's the marching order? Ilona first, who's second? Uh, I am. Hmm. Um, how are you uh, avoiding the traps, if at all? Um, I suppose it depends on, sort of, obviously, like, depends on what kind of trap that are out um, there. The, like, stereotypical but, arrow traps. Uh, right, like, okay. they're pointed at a specific direction, and you, like, get the sense that if I were to walk on that spot, they would shoot. Okay. Uh, in which case, I would sort of, like, um, s like sort of step over... The parts that, um, so, sort of, Ilona sort of like pointed out which mm -hmm. uh, stones not to step on, right? Mm -hmm. So like, I would just sort of like, like, you know, like, like carefully step over the the stones that move, I guess. Hmm. Uh, Ilona, are you also trying to avoid them? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, by like stepping over them, I'm guessing. Yeah, or... but like. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Just avoiding touching them or getting close to them, yeah. Hmm. Um, Moon and you will see as, like, you step over them. Uh, they do trigger on your approach, but you are able to, like, sidestep the projectiles. Okay. Um, right. Angel, what, are, what about you? How are you avoiding the traps, if at all? I guess I'm uh, trying to copy uh, Ilona and Moon as hmm. much as I can. I don't know. Um, can all of you give me careful rolls? This is to notice something, not to... This isn't, like, good or bad if you fail. Okay. Ooh. Moonin, you specifically <laughs> notice that there are certain points, like, where you maybe walk too close to a trap and, like, trigger it, etc. And this... And Ilona and Angel also do this. Thing is, the traps trigger for you, but they do not do not trigger for Ilona or Angel. Oh. Um, interesting. Strange. Um, in that case, I'm wondering whether or not... Hmm. I mean, in that case, I'm wondering whether or not uh, to sort of stay behind if, if I'm, like, the only person triggering traps. Um... What do you guys think? Like, do you think, like, um, or maybe, uh, I, I'm just thinking as well, could, is, could there be some advantage to this? Like, oh, um, could I trigger a trap to, like, I don't know, set something else off? But I don't think anything, like, 
I don't know. I don't think there's anything particularly obvious that I could do that for, if that makes sense. I think you're really good if you come with us, because you have like mm. a lot of knowledge. Right. But we could switch up the order so both me and Angle can like notice the traps before uh, you do. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Definitely. I would definitely. I'll sort of like fall behind then, uh, if that would like sort of help things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sure, uh, if you'd like. Um, as you continue on your way, you've basically been walking through like a single corridor so far, and like in the ba- in the back of uh, at your back, you see like the outside light dimming as you like gain distance. Um, you eventually reach a uh, junction, uh, basically a T section uh, with like uh, one pathway to the left, one pathway to the right and one continuing onwards. I would say there isn't like... Um, well, actually, there are the ones to the left and right are uh, closed by doors. Okay. Is there anything like indicating... what way? Like any signs? Anything like that? Give me careful. Oh. <laughs> you aren't quite able to tell. Okay. Um, so, uh, if, did you say if there was doors? Do you do you think you you two should like sort of? Yeah, like, I'm thinking uh, we yeah, should try you, to open them. Yeah. In case there's a trap. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Okay. So Ilona and Angel go to open a door to the left or to the right. <laughs> I, I was thinking like both of us. I mean. Oh. Okay. I, I, okay. Okay. That works. I mean. Up to you. If that's what you want to do. I am a bit scared of this. <laughs> oh, okay. Like an Asian beast behind the doors. <laughs> okay, so you want to open one together? Or, I don't know. Maybe? Okay. Yeah. Which one? Should we go with the left one first? Okay. Okay. I will need um, a forceful roll from, like, which one of you is quote-unquote leading, and the other person will assist. These doors are very old, and, like, they haven't been opened in a very long time, is the thing. Oh. So So I think I might be leading, maybe? Sure. Yeah. I will need a forceful difficulty four, and Ilona will be assisting you, basically, with a plus one. Okay, let's do it. Okay, you manage. Um, Yeah. You open the door and, um, yeah, you manage to open the door uh, and you find yourself in um, not a small room, but like a room that you can see like the edges of. And as you um, bring out the torch to see better, you see a large number of crates and barrels and perhaps more disturbingly, um, a large number of skeletons next to each... Um, <sighs> barrel and crate. I think they would be a good idea to close this door. And go uh, and they're, out of here. they're not like <laughs> active. They're clearly very long dead. Uh, what do you think? Uh, I mean, I wonder if, like, should we investigate? I don't know. Um. Uh. What are you thinking? I mean, mm. I don't know if Angle would. I don't know. And this is very weird to Angle, by the way, and probably to Ilona <laughs> too, and Moon <laughs> probably. I mean, it's interesting, but I don't know. Should we? <laughs> I don't know, because it feels like we're searching for like a really important object, and having it been like in a small room like this for me it would make more sense if it was like in the in the middle passage okay i mean i'm just wondering like what killed these people but okay (laughs) maybe we shouldn't find out (laughs) (laughs) up to you then uh i guess we close the door i mean i guess unless 
I, I'm just imagining it from like Moonin's perspective. He's like been standing in a doorway, maybe a little bit frustrated because like the traps only seem to be affecting him. And mm. he sees Angel and Ilona like open a door and like very quickly close it back. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I think definitely like uh, I'm although sort of it would. I'm very curious as to see like you know. I'm very curious about the room, but if, like, you know, I mean, if they close the door that quickly, then it's probably best not to find out. <laughs> um, okay. If you know what I mean. So, like, yeah, I mean, I, I don't mind sort of, like, moving on to a different path. I think we, like, communicate that to you as well, what we saw. And... Yeah, right. Okay. Then that, yeah, in that case, I'd sort of definitely, Moonin would sort of definitely, like, um, I guess prefer to like keep the door closed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So there's the other door, or like further down the hallway. Uh, again, I, I, um, I think we may as well peek and see what's obviously not me, like not Moonin, <laughs> but like, uh, you guys, if you have, if you want to, you can sort of peek and see what. Uh, is it behind the <laughs> the second door? Sure. Okay, let's do that. I will need another forceful difficulty four. Okay. Oh, uh, you are <sighs> able to open this door with much greater ease, especially if Alona is assisting you. As you open the door, uh, you see a similar sight of, like... Um, crates, barrels, and skeletons perched all around them. Um, however, at one end of the room, you see what appears to be like an altar, if that makes sense. Okay. Okay. Uh, do we want to approach, or we will... I mean... Also, do let me know if you are, like, investigating... Uh, like, what specifically are you investigating? So, if you're like looking, taking a closer look at the skeletons, I'll tell you about the skeletons, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Make sense? Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, I, th I think if we're investigating, we're probably going to go to the altar, or mm -hmm. I don't know. I kind of want to know like how many skeletons there are close to the altar. <laughs> Is it a threat? Hmm. Give me a careful roll, Ilona. It will be difficulty too. Hmm. <laughs> Um, the skeletons are like scattered ab about randomly. They aren't like clustered around the altar specifically. Um, there are some around the altar, but the, it's not like um, it's not like they were like clustered specifically around it. Make sense? Yeah, that makes, that makes sense to me. Okay. Um, I'd like to. I'd like to come in and sort of take a look around, but like, I don't know if you guys, would it be cool if like, you guys did a check to see if there's any sort of traps or anything before I walk in? Or is that not necessary? Well, um, before that, before that, uh, I think it's a good opportunity to like, um, continue with like the little tutorials we've been having of introducing like another mechanic that Fate Accelerated has, Compels. Moonin. I would like to oh. compel you, your seeker of knowledge aspect, that you're a seeker of knowledge, you're tired of like being discriminated against by a runin, you're going in no matter what. Okay. Do you accept um, or do you not? I am willing to accept, but what would be the consequence if I declined? If you decline, you will lose a fate point. Okay. Um, no, I'd be willing to accept that. Okay. Here is another shiny fate point. Lovely. Okay, so as like Angela and Ilona are like looking around uncertain, maybe a little bit creeped out, Moonin like shoves open the door and like bursts in like, mm, I, I want to look around too. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> you see like what I've described to Angela and Ilona. Okay, perfect. Um, I'd love to have a good look at the sort of uh you say the altar like mm -hmm. I, I want to sort of in, inspect it for like um like any inscriptions or anything like that are you just like walking straight to it uh yeah i mean i i'd sort of like 
Mm. I I don't know if there's any point in. Well, maybe I was going to say it would probably be a good idea to, like, um, uh, kind of like be cautious about it rather than just walking like like barging straight in and walking straight towards it. If that makes sense. So like, would I be able to like, would I be able to see if there's any traps or anything like that? Give me or a careful, that... please. Okay. Yeah, you do spot two arrow traps pointed at, like, whomever might approach. Oh, okay. Um, in that case, um, I really want to take a look, but, um, if there's, uh, I mean, it would, it wouldn't be great to, like, be shot with an arrow, do you know what I mean? <laughs> um, <laughs> Would I be? Would there be a chance to like trigger trigger the traps without anyone getting injured? So like trigger it and then like immediately duck down or something. Like I don't know. Maybe that sounds like um, you would either be rolling a clever or a quick. Okay. So uh, that's okay. Uh, so roll me a clever or a quick if that's what you want to do, and I'll say difficulty two. Okay. Cool. Um. I think clever, probably. Well, I mean, they're both, uh, you know. Ah, oh, lovely. Okay. Yeah, you manage to trigger one, and um, you see it empty out. It, it empty out its arrow, and it sticks uh, out of the stone, like where you were, like poking it with a stick. I imagine. Mm -hmm. There is one other trap. If you'd like to also disarm that one. Uh, yeah. Give me an. Okay. Uh. Same thing. You manage to disarm both traps. All right, awesome. Uh, in that case, I'd like to take a look at the altar. <laughs> hmm. Give me a clever road. Your stunt would apply. It would be difficulty... Well, before I say... Before you roll. Of, like, uh, the various things you've studied, how much of how much interest was ancient history to you? Um, definitely... Uh, it's definitely... Um, up there, do you know what I mean? I think ancient history is like one of mm -hmm. the big sort of subjects for Moonen. Okay, then give me a clever difficulty four, and your stunt would apply. Oh shit! Ooh, nice. very nice, very nice. So, with that, uh, well, you basically got a critical success. So, yeah. you know that this is an ancient sacrificial altar, uh, where like. The, the various um, legions of the Rimlin Empire would often have soothsayers among their ranks who would perform a sacrifice uh, and based on like the entrails of said animal would uh, say this is what's going to happen with in the future our army will be successful or not or whatever and you see that this is an altar used for sacrifices in the military and you see like the remnants of old blood uh, and you'll probably be able to spot like some animal bones nearby. Make sense? That makes sense, okay. And more specifically, uh, once I uh, have it on my thing, you know that this is specifically dedicated to the god Akesius, who is the god of the sun, healing, archery, poetry, various other things. Okay. All right. Interesting. Um, uh, sweet. Okay. So would I, uh, I sort of obviously share that information with everyone in the, sure. in the group. Um, so yeah, I think it probably, uh, obviously that's, I imagine that's all there is to, uh, so Munin would probably come to the conclusion that, that that's all there is to this room. Just like that, inf like, you know, I mean, if they they just sort of used it for sacri uh, sacrifices, so there's probably not anything else to look at here, if that makes sense. Well, there's also, again, the skeletons on the ground. Yeah, there's I'm also... wondering what... Yeah. Okay. Like, um... what What killed those, <laughs> those people? Mm. No, actually true. Um... Could we... Uh... Um... I'm not sure. Could we could we do another sort of inspection kind of thing throughout the room, or is, do you think that's not necessary? Well, uh, okay. I leave it up to you guys. I leave it up to you guys. Okay. Uh, uh, I mean, I'm really curious, but I don't know if Ungo would be <laughs> 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 like a 
Like, I don't know if he would... I think he's just kind of shocked and... I don't know. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. Um... Alona, what, what, what about you? What do you think? Um, yeah, like, now when all the traps are, like, disarmed, I think it would be a good time to just figure out how these people got killed. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Um, I would need a careful role from whomever would be, like, inspecting these skeletons. Difficulty four, I would imagine. Is it like um, a consequence one if you roll bad? <laughs> no, no, I wouldn't okay. say so. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, okay. Ooh. They dead. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> so, yeah. um, could, uh, could I roll as well, or is that... Yeah, of course. Okay, cool. Uh, so a careful roll. Ah, okay. <laughs> I will say that you do not see, like, signs of violence, like they suffered a violent death. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Uh, can I, like, check after everyone did already, kind of? <laughs> kind sure. of on the roll? <laughs> sure. Uh, what specifically would you be looking for? What What happened? Okay, give me a careful. I mean, I don't know if there's more to find, but... Same thing I told Moonin that you see that okay. they did not die of a violent death. Um, now, so, oh. un unlike Moonin, you aren't an educated person, so I don't right. think you'll be able to like recognize more. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, in which case... We continue, I guess? Yeah. yeah. And close the door behind us, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> Just make sure. <laughs> okay. You continue down the hallway, then? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. As you continue down the hallway, eventually you would find, like, a bigger room uh how should i how should i describe it um like sort of a almost like a roman amphitheater amphitheater uh, amphitheater if that if you know how that looks like like you're in the um, um quote unquote stage and there are stairs like of like an audience um okay. moving out. um well actually you're not on the stage you're like up, approaching from uh, the quote-unquote top, uh, you are basically you basically arrived at like the top of a, an amphitheater. Does that make sense? Okay, so the, sta the stage is the Sorry. stage is further down. The stage is further it's down. down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. My apologies. Yeah. Um, and as you look, you will see seated at the at very at the amphitheater various skeletons. Um, I will mention, I don't think I mentioned this previously, that all of the skeletons you saw here were, like, wearing armor uh, and had, like, melee weapons with them. Um, armor isn't something that people usually wear anymore. I mean, gunpowder has kind of rendered armor obsolete, but these people are wearing it. They're clearly very long dead. Mm. Okay. Um, if you would look at like the bottom of the amp of the amphitheater, um, actually give me carefuls because it is a bit of a waste down to see how how what much you see. Okay, I think it, that's good enough, Moonin. You would see that. Um, yeah, it's good enough for Moonin. Uh, you would see that there is uh, like a pedestal, and there appears to be something on the pedestal. And, like, behind the pedestal, again, this is, like, on the quote-unquote scene, is a figure which appears to be sitting uh, in a f on a throne. Oh, interesting. N not a big, ornate throne, but clearly a fancy chair. Okay. Um, could we... Uh, what does everyone think? Should we? Uh, could we approach the pedestal? Um, I think we should. You you shared information with us, or 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'd sort of like oh. to share what I can see with everyone else, obviously. I. Uh, yeah. Um. Good question. What do we do? Um. Oh, I tell you what. We've got like uh, a source of light, right? Yeah. Um, All of you have torches, I, yeah. Yeah. Would we? Would it be? Uh, could we sort of throw a torch uh, <laughs> at the pedestal, <laughs> or would that be like pointless? Because I want to obviously like um, get a. Uh, I want to get a better look at what's sitting on the chair, but like, I mean, I don't know if that's just like we may yeah. as well just walk um, up to it and see. What's sitting on a chair is clearly a skeleton, another one, although with okay. more ornate armor, I would say. Right, okay. In, in that case, um, in that case, I think, I mean, it would be right to, uh, to sort of, I mean, I don't know what everyone else thinks, but I mean, we sort of approach the pedestal. I think, I mean, there's nothing else that, you know, that's important about this, I mean, that catches our eye, right, in this room? Uh, give me another careful. difficulty four i would say for everybody or whomever would be interested in looking like elsewhere in the room okay i'm not hmm. really good today <laughs> moonin um you see the, uh what you see moonin is that these um skeletons uh, who are again like sitting at the amphitheater and they're all like they all like seem to be looking at like the scene uh quote unquote scene uh they also all have like all of them have, like, uh, in their right hand, a sword or another melee weapon, in their left hand, a shield. And they all seem to have, like, their possessions on them, including potentially money. Um, does anyone, does anyone want to sort of, like, um, I guess, loot the skeletons? <laughs> Grave rob, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'm into that. No. Nah. I, I can give you coins if you want. I have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> okay. Uh, in which case, I probably sort of like, um, I mean, like I said, sort of like uh, approach the uh, sort of pedestal? the uh, not the altar, the pedestal, pedestal as you said. Yeah, yeah. pedestal, yeah. pedestal. Yeah. yeah. Um, Moon, and you're going first. Uh, yeah. Uh, so would it be, would I need to sort of roll, like, careful or anything? If you're trying to look out for traps, yes, please. You do spot uh, a narrow trap pointed, um, like, at your approach. Okay. Um, so could I disarm it with clever? Sure, or give me a clever, yeah, give me a clever or a quick. Okay. You cool. manage to disarm it. <clears throat> Sweet. Do you continue down? Uh, yeah. Uh, Angel and Ilona, are you following? Yeah, well, keeping an eye out for, like, also traps and anything. Seems yeah. out of the ordinary. Okay. As you approach the, um, sort of, um, scene of the amphitheater, um, you again see the pedestal and there's the skeleton... Uh, like sitting on a quote-unquote throne behind a pedestal. Behind the skeleton, there are, you also see a door, another wooden door. And on the pedestal, once I put it on screen, you will see uh, this thing. Oh. Looks like an orb. Yeah, <laughs> is that is that a thing? <laughs> Seems to be. Very nice. I get the like Indiana Jones vibes right now. <laughs> I would say that yeah. it seems to be like it sits on like a, a cushion, if that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't think it's a good idea for Munin to grab it, since so far he's triggered like all the the only one to trigger traps. I agreed. <laughs> okay. But I don't know. Like, I would love to know more about. The surroundings, and if it like seems like a threat, because like this is kind of like an 
out of the ordinary situation. We opened a door with like a blue light. I, I doubt they have LEDs back then. <laughs> I will say um, it might be possible to know more. I would require um, clever roles from Moonin and Ilona, difficulty six. Angel, before you ro- before I also ask you to roll, how much attention have you been paying in, ter- in church? Oh, well, I should say, not necessarily attention in church because they wouldn't be speaking, or the priest wouldn't be speaking your language, but rather how much would you be like looking at like the various iconography and like the paintings on the wall, etc.? Oh, I think he will pay attention to that. Okay, then also give me a clever difficulty four for you. Okay. <laughs> oh no. So, not quite good enough. Or you can spend fate points. Um, for Moonin and Ilona, it's difficulty six. For Angel, it's difficulty four. Um. Can I assist Moonin in some way? I got a shit roll, but can um, I like. The assist has to be. Um, I'm sorry, but the assist has to be declared before the roll. Okay. Um. In which case, would it would, again? I assume this is sort of a, another situation where we'd all have to like spend fate points if we'd want to get anywhere, right? Pretty much. Uh, I will mention um, from Moonin and Ilona, I need a six. So Moonin, you would probably only need to spend like one fate point, and for Angel, okay. I would need a four. Yeah. Okay. Um. I wouldn't mind spending one, if that's alright. I mean, what does everyone else think? I don't want to spend mine, because then I can't, like, resist a compel, so I'm saving <laughs> that one. Okay. If Moonin, like, uh, manages to... I mean, if he spends one, then he can see whatever it is that needs to be seen, and that's it? Um, This role is to, like... Because this, this orb isn't, like, a completely foreign object and it's to like tell you what specifically it is okay um i mean okay <laughs> like when it can i mean i think if it if uh, he wants <laughs> he can spend a fade point and then maybe tell us what he finds <laughs> That's good to me. <laughs> <laughs> peer pressure, peer pressure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. What are you invoking? Um so I would be invoking yeah, let me double check. Possibly well, pr- my probably my main one. Uh my main main aspect, which is obviously uh the seeker of knowledge thing, right? Yeah, I think that fits perfectly. So, you're using it to give yourself plus two, correct? Uh, yeah. Okay. Moon and you would recognize the orb from, like, the various um, books you've read on the ancient Rimlin Empire, and maybe even from some, like, uh, church iconography. These orbs were once uh, carried by the generals of the ancient Rimlin Empire, and, like, through all the various depictions you saw of, like, um, scenes of like battle and uh, combat. It's all uh, all the m- various magic you've heard of, like fireballs, uh, lightning bolts, etc. All of them seem uh, seemed to come to come from these orbs. Now I will mention um, the like scholarly consensus is that these orbs didn't actually exist. They're all most like a myth or a retold story that's been like muddled through the ages. Uh, nobody seriously believes that these existed. And yet there's one right in front of you. Oh. Um. Oh, wow, okay. Interesting. Uh, so obviously I'd like to sort of um, uh, share that with everyone else. Sort of like, sort of explain yeah. to everyone. Like, listen, I I've sort of read up about these. Like, these aren't, you know, these aren't <laughs> supposed to exist. Like, you know, like um, the tale. So obviously, the tale more or less goes that again, the ancient Rimlin had all this destructive magic. 
um, but then like the sort of religious canon is that um, the f once the faith of the free came and uh, the various priests brought their own healing magic, uh, it drove back the foul magics of the Rimlin and sealed those destructive magics away. This is more like the theological story. Um, the more serious researchers believe that that's hogwash. I want to ask something. The the magic, it's like fireballs and stuff. It's not like wake up a bunch of skeletons in a dungeon from the dead. Well, I'm, speak of. I'm speaking more generally. I'm speaking more generally. Um, you don't know what this orb specifically does. You just mm -hmm. know... Well, Moonin knows that if those stories are true, this is magic. He's not quite sure what magic, but yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so it's interesting, obviously, that the guy, um, Sovak, uh, uh, the guy that gave us the job, is obviously yeah. interesting that he want uh, that they want yeah. this. So, um, I'd like to like, um, I'm not sure if it would be possible. I'd like to sort of, obviously, not write the second. Uh, I'd rather sort of wait until we like get out, uh, possibly with the orb. But I'd like to sort of run some tests, see whether or not it is like, yeah. you know, what I mean, if it is like, um, m like magic or if it's like what like, it does, like, yeah, just an orb, you know. <laughs> Are like, any of uh, you clergymen? <laughs> I don't even know what that is. <laughs> A priest or <laughs> monk? No. 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 Well, uh, modern magic is just a weaker form of healing magic that some priests and monks have. Um, to your and well, Angel would know that like the local witch has has magic, a weird type of like curse magic, etc. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all you guys know on magic. Okay. Um, I think. I don't know about everyone else. I think we should probably take it to someone else before we take it to the guy who, like, our contractor, I guess. Uh, but who could we show it to? The like the local witch, right? Or or not? Oh, the witch. Like a... He's scary. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I I mean, I don't know if she. She parks the barmaid, <laughs> if you believe that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if anything, it would be a good sort of indication of whether or not she is actually a witch. Like, if something, wow. if she, for example, if if she touches it and something happens, then like, the the barmaid's a li like in trouble, I guess. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> but like, um, well, obviously, that's whether we do that or not is like, I suppose that's we we'll have to decide when we are actually out of here. I will um, mention above board uh, to Angel. You know that the witch lives here in this isolated house in the woods. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. I mean, okay. We could try. Uh, yeah, we could, we should try to take it first and see that nothing happens, I guess. Yeah. And um, maybe I'm too skittish about this, but would it be an idea to like disarm the skeletons first? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> uh, I guess we could. <laughs> yeah, should, should we, like, precaution. <laughs> we're taking all of, like, the weapons and stuff and put them in a big pile or something. I will say there's, like, like maybe, like, over a hundred of them in this room alone. Okay. Oh, really? Oh, wow. It's, it's oh, like, wow. It's like an amphitheater, not, uh, like a small ruin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what about the guy, uh, what about the skeleton in the chair? Does he, is he holding anything? Mm. He's wearing more ornate armor, and you can see, like, several insignia that look to be, like, the ancient equivalent of, like, medals or something. This was clearly, like, an important person. Um, he, he's, he is, like, holding a sword, but, like, um... You know those like uh, ancients, well, not like ancient, but like medieval sculptures of like someone holding a sword and um, with both hands and placing it into the ground. Make yeah. sense? Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's holding his sword like that. 
like he's sort of paying homage to this pedestal. Okay. Um, I was thinking, at the very least, obviously, if if we can't take swords off of every skeleton, at the very least, we should. Probably I mean, you take can, it but it will take a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, at the very least, we should probably take it off the, the the possibly the most dangerous one if they were to ever like wake yeah. up or whatever. Yeah, we could also defend ourselves if that happens. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so um, I'd sort of like so yeah, if, if uh, I'd sort of like to like try and take it, take the sword out of his hands. Mm -hmm. You manage to do that. There isn't like any difficulty needed whatsoever. It is though like. He is gripping it fairly strongly, so you have to like rip it from him. Okay. Yeah, as you, cool. if you look at it, you will see that um, Moon and you will probably recognize that it is definitely like an ancient design of sword. You don't like make swords like that anymore. It's a, a short stabbing sword. Ah, um, okay. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Well, um, if I, uh, if everyone else is ready. Should we pick up the orb? Or try to pick up the orb? Yeah, I guess. Before, we are on the right. Before that, you did you disarmed like the one the skeleton standing next to it. Did you guys do anything else? Maybe maybe pick up a sword actually. Just just in case. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty to go around. <laughs> I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready. So, who picks up the orb? Either you or me, right? I guess. Mm. I'm <laughs> willing to go, if you don't want to. I mean, I don't, I don't really mind, but... <laughs> I'm genuinely curious how this conversation goes, like, in character, because Angel doesn't speak. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well... Uh, Head gestures, head gestures. We just like have intense eye contact, very confused. <laughs> 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 yeah. I can go. It's fine with me. I shrug. You can go. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Ilona, you go and touch the orb and immediately you feel a strong rumbling around you like an earthquake oh fuck <laughs> and it lasts for like 20 seconds or so this earthquake i would say like you see like dust flying from the from the room uh like it's clearly an earthquake but um the building is sturdy enough that it doesn't like collapse upon you mm -hmm. and eventually you will see uh how are you uh, what's uh tell me narratively what's going on uh while this earthquake happens how are you like holding the orb or whatever um i guess i'm holding it like with both my hands sturdy mm -hmm. grip okay uh, while looking around as well to see like that nothing falls on my head or like yeah 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 um you will eventually see um out of the ground there's like this green so almost like a wave of energy that flows directly into the orb okay. and it starts glowing green Ooh. this will go on for another like 10 seconds feel free to like stop me at any point if you'd like to do anything and eventually this energy will like sort of explode from the orb. It doesn't like damage you in any way. In fact, when it touches you, you don't feel anything specifically, but it like goes out to encompass the entire room around you before like dissipating. And after a few more seconds, the earthquake stops and the orb returns to its bluish color. Okay. Interesting. And you begin to hear, uh, as you probably predicted, twitches coming from the skeletons. I knew it! <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> I didn't grab a sword! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they all begin to twitch and look around. And once I put it on screen... Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? 
Yeah. The main skeleton, his eyes light up uh, green. And he looks straight at you, Ilona. Um, <laughs> like, part of me is just like wanted to tease him for not having a sword. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. Um, I think now would be as good of time as any to use my stunt, but I don't know. Um, that would kind of be like leaving you all in the mess. Before that, <laughs> before that um, I wanted to ask Moonin do you speak like the ancient, uh, in Kuna language, aka the language of the Rimlin? Um, I think not fluently by any means, but I think, like, you know, Moon might be able to recognize some, like, base, like, you know, basic words and, like, maybe, you know, string a sentence or two together. Mm -hmm. uh, then all of you will hear this skeleton who's looking at Ilona. He says, Hello. Sweet, nice. And we understand I, that he says hello. Yeah, uh, Ilona and Angel understand him as if he were speaking your respective native languages. Moon and you oh. hear that he's speaking ancient Inkuna, um, which again, it's rusty for you, but you are able to pick up on the hello. Okay. So, is he saying it like with a very threatful tone, or is it just like. Mm, like he's. Um, Hmm, he's saying it like, uh, oh, hello, like he's slightly surprised. Huh. She, rather, she, I should say. I'm intrigued by this. It's a woman? Uh, I, f I, for I think I forgot to mention this to you, show and tell, but for, like, simplicity's sake, um, even though, like, historically it wasn't the case, I will say that, like, say, women can become priests or generals or whatever, just, like, keep things simple okay okay so yeah she looks at you and says hello do i have like the the orb on me now yeah it's in your hands that's why she said it to you okay um, i think you can control them or something oh shit that would be cool <laughs> um she like, can i say, say hi back <laughs> try to like repeat what she said yeah, you say hi back. Again, to you, it seems like she's speaking in your native language. Uh, only to Moonin, it appears like they're speaking in ancient uh, in Kuna. Yeah, okay. Um, you also like hear rustling behind you, and you see the various skeletons of the amphitheater also like start waking up. She, the woman in front of you, like looks at herself and looks at her body and her bones and says how long has it been no clue like a long time mm -hmm. thousands of years maybe who are the current consuls <laughs> what do i say to that i don't know uh, moon and you know that the Consuls are the way the Rimlin tracks time, basically the office of the council. Like it's the year of that person and that person. Oh, okay, I see. Um, would I be able to sort of would I would I, would I be able to say or like or like maybe not say directly to the to the skeleton, but like say to uh, Elona so that Elona can tell the skeleton. If that makes sense. You're able to like, know, you know. want you, you can like come up to Ilona and like whisper to her like, "Hey, this is what he she's talking about." Yeah. Okay. So yeah, uh, could I do that? Mm -hmm. But you will see um, as you like approach Ilona to, uh, to inform her of that. This skeleton looks at you, Moonin, and asks Ilona, "Who is this barbarian?" Ooh. <laughs> He's a barbarian. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> I I'll guess I'll just say um, I don't know about barbarian, but I think times have changed. I can tell that much. Mm. So who's the emperor now? 
Who is the Emperor now? <laughs> uh, the Rimland Empire fell centuries ago. Okay, I'll just I say... Mean, uh, traditionally, Angel might say, like, whomever rules in Emperor's town is the Emperor. If he wants to say that, but he can't say that, actually. He can't say that? I guess I just say there is no emperor as of now. Or do I lie and say that we're like the emperors? That'll be sick. I have too much power. <laughs> what do you guys think? <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. I think uh, we should. That would be quite funny to be like. Yeah, we're in charge. Uh, I, uh, I think we should probably keep it safe, maybe, and say, like, oh, yeah, there isn't one. Sure. I think she could probably tell on our clothes as well that we, we don't seem like it. <laughs> uh, sure. Too bad. Um, she looks confused, uh, stunned, and, and says, what do you mean there isn't one? How can there not be one? The Rimland fell ages ago. Then why are you here? How did you get here if they fell? Oh fuck. I just put us in the trap, didn't I? <laughs> no. Um, um I will say, um Moon in the land you are from does pretend that they are the true Rimland Empire, but that's just the title. Okay. Um, could I, um, could, yeah, could I, well, not, maybe not, again, maybe not directly, but could I say that? <laughs> like, Anytime you, like, approach Ilona, the skeleton, like, tenses up, uh, like, she clearly sees you as, like, a barbarian, uh, how dare you approach a Rimland citizen, basically. Hmm. It might not be a good idea, then, to, like... The skeleton might get offended, maybe, if I say, if I say that where I'm from is the tr is the new empire or anything. So maybe I should. I might keep that to myself. <laughs> Up to you. Yeah, yeah. I'll 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 keep that one to myself, especially if it's not. I mean, from an out of universe perspective, especially if it's not necessarily true. But like, obviously, uh, Moonin probably wouldn't like you know. She, um, go ahead. No, oh, no, sorry, go ahead. Hmm. She would, like, look around and, like, notice your... Mm, the collective, your um, uncomfortableness, so to say. And she will say, Please, sit down. I'll have, I'll have my slaves bring you food and drink. Um... Okay. Can I ask her, like, how how uh, she can talk and speak and everything while being a skeleton? Uh, she will say, "Well, I'm clearly." Uh, let me let me look look it up. There's one term that uh, I'm forgetting that I have written down. Uh, what's it called? What's it called? What's it called? Hmm. She was uh, she will say, "Well, this is clearly the magic of a of a Cassius at work." The divine can do many things, even though my vocal cords are gone. I still stand ready to serve the Rimlin, as always. Um, does what does everyone think? Should, should we stay? I think it's a bit sketchy. Me but, too. Yeah, but then maybe trying to leave right now. Uh, might be a bit risky too. I mean, can we just leave with the orb though? Because it seems to. To like sort of describe the scene, if you were to look behind you, like the various skeleton, other skeletons in the amphitheater would like be standing up, and they're they're basically acting like people that have just woken up from a very long nap. Like they're stretching. The ones that you've like deprived of swords are like patting themselves for their swords. Um, <laughs> they. Don't clearly don't like see you as a threat. Okay. Mm. 
The only thing is, obviously, that might change if we try to leave, right? Um, what is? Uh, should we stay for a little bit? I don't know. Like, I, I could use my stunt if need be, but <laughs> yeah. you guys. <laughs> I mean, uh, it could be one idea if you try to escape and I distract them for a bit and, like, stay and talk. If you want to get out of here, if we don't want to sit down with them. Mm. That's a good point. Um, you will see, by the way, that um, some of the uh, skeletons are, like, bringing chairs as per their commander's orders for you. Wooden chairs, I would say. And from, like, the door behind uh, the, f the throne... There are more scantily clad uh, skeletons bringing like jars of what you presume are food and water or like drink. Mm -hmm. But again, th this food and water is thousands of years old. Yeah. Yeah, of course, yeah. Um, okay. I mean, should we ask them? I can't, but should we ask them what they're planning to do or what they like? Like, if they have a purpose of some kind? I don't know. They do not appear to be hostile, at least not right now. I, I, I'm not sure if I'm willing to, like, see if that changes. Yeah. Um, Should we, like, plan for escape? Uh, yeah. Uh, with the orb? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I mean... I, I do have a stun, a stun that uh, kind of lets me escape, but I'm not sure if it applies. Uh, I don't know. Can you tell me the wording of the stun? Uh, it's very, it's very bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just kind of came up with it because I... Um, uh well actually I have two. Oh no, no, one. Okay, uh because it's big and silent silent, once per session he can avoid conflict or gain important information by being dismissed as stupid or important. Yep, you can definitely use that stunt. So I can also escape, I mean if we choose to go that route. I think it would be interesting to get as much information as possible while maintaining a, like a friendly like if we just run I think they're going to be very hostile but like yeah. do, do it as um yeah friendly as possible. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um yeah, I think we should so uh, we I guess we'll sort of uh, stay for now, but keep an eye on the door, sort of thing. Is that what we're? Is that what we're going to do? I will mention above board. Um, they only brought two chairs and indicate that Angel and Ilona should sit. Uh, no chair for stinky barbarian Moonen. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh um, boy. <laughs> okay. Obviously, that's <laughs> obviously that's like infuriating Moonen. <laughs> um. Well, yeah, I mean, if we sort of, um, I mean, if in that case, because cause I don't have a chair anyway, I, um, I could sort of, like, be the one that's, like, I guess, uh, I don't know how to s describe it, but, like, um, be on the lookout for, like, when we should leave sort of thing, I guess, if that makes sense, because I'm, I'm not even sitting down anyway, right? I mean, I don't think any of us have taken a seat yet. It, it could be that, like, you take one of our seats <laughs> and just wait. <laughs> That's what I say. Um. You sure? That sounds good. If you wanna. Yeah. Okay. Which one of you like sit down then? Um, I guess I would like sit down. But could I also like um? It seems a bit weird to like hold the orb. Can I just like put it like on me in a pocket or something? You you may, of course. Sure. Okay. Uh Angel and Moonin, what about you? 
Uh, yeah, Angle's very confused and I don't know. <laughs> and in and, and awe, I guess. I guess he sits because, I mean, or maybe points for Munin to sit. <laughs> I don't know, because he sees there are only two chairs and stuff. Yeah. Um, the I think skeletons I'll... did indicate that Angel and Ilona should sit. But that being said, that doesn't mean that um, you have to follow their orders. Right. Mm. Uh, <laughs> although it would be funny to see their reaction. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I should... Uh, I don't think a moon in would, would will sit. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. So I guess Angle uh, sits too. Mm -hmm. um, the like more scantily clad skeletons uh, bring you, uh, bring the two of you and the um, gen the skeleton general, um, food and uh, food and wine. Um, they and cups. First of all, they bring the cups. Then they start pouring some very smelly liquid that probably was once wine. Um, the general seems like very happy at seeing at seeing this and like mutters to herself oh, i haven't had a drink in ages um and they also bring um some bread that is pretty much stone at this point and she says i apologize for not being not bringing more luxury accommodations but well we were in the middle of enemy territory at this point And they're totally not freaked out by the fact that they're skeletons. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, they're skeletons. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> acting like people. Okay. <laughs> I get a feeling we should go soon. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the skeleton says that skeleton general says. So tell me, what's what's the general affairs in the empire? Are we being rescued at last? I guess I just tell her no, and this place has been forgotten. Uh, well, then, um, I rigged it so that the only people who may enter are those approved of by the Emperor or my own descendants, so I suppose you're my grandchildren? I suppose. <laughs> Again, this is like thousands of years old, so there, it'd be like tens of generations yeah it, i guess <laughs> she says ah, then a toast to you dear grandchildren and she mm. lifts up her cup and drinks and the liquid like pours down onto the chair yeah i'm not drinking kinda, yeah you kind of look at her in our horror i think <laughs> something <laughs> Uh, she, after like she quote unquote finishes her drink, um, she looks at the two, uh, the two of you and says, "Well, if you're here, then at the very least it means that we can perhaps return home. Um, is it, are the barbarians gone? Can we finally can we finally leave? It was a desperate ritual to seal myself and my men down here, but I take it it worked. At the very least, we'll be able to serve the empire once again." Uh, I, <laughs> I, don't, I think it's pretty obvious. I don't think it would be a good idea for them to try to leave. <laughs> do you see no, that in character? Uh, yeah, it could do. Yeah. When when you start talking, the female um, gen general will say, uh, "Your slave is very talk. Your slave is very talkative. Back in my <laughs> day, we we kept them silent." <laughs> <laughs> I, I try. I try to like change the subject and and ask her about the orb. Like, tell me everything about it. Well, what do you mean? It's the orb of Acacius. Can anybody use it? Well, theoretically, but you do need to know how to use it or to have the favor of Acacius. 
Okay. How do I use it? <laughs> oh, what did Not. you see? What did you see? Um, I don't think I'm asked that. That's kind of too fishy, I guess. I genuinely did not hear what you say, <laughs> what you said. Mm. Just like, how do I use it? Mm. But I, I don't know if that's a good idea to say to her. <laughs> it would be cool, like speaking out of character, um, to like learn how to use it and not bring it back to the to the guy. Yeah, I was thinking. Yeah. Although. <laughs> <laughs> We don't know what we're getting ourselves into. <laughs> yeah. Um. Again, the, again, this like person is like the skeleton is like looking at the two of you expectantly, like, uh, oh, like it's a, it's someone you've like rescued from an impossible setting. Like, oh, do I finally get to go home? Um, do I finally get to go home with my soldiers and continue to perform my duty? Like, it's a very earnest hope um, that this person has. Mm. I kind of want to tell her that there's like no real place for her in the current state but that would be like <laughs> I don't know <laughs> it's honest but it's like kicking a puppy or something I don't want to do that <laughs> <laughs> I mean and she has an army who knows what she'll do Yeah. Although in terms of like in terms of sizes, they're pretty small as an army, right? Oh yeah, they're they're not like <laughs> the um well, of the skeletons you saw, you would probably count like a few hundred of the of the ones you saw. Um, armies in this age are like in the tens of thousands. Yeah. I guess um, one thing that we could do is like pretend that we're gonna help her and uh, get to know how the world works and keeping her there. Like we say we're gonna make the, the place safe for her using the orb. By the way, I don't want to keep you guys too much over time. We're already a little bit over time. For how much longer can you guys keep going? Shit. <laughs> I didn't um... even see it. I I mean I can go on for a little bit longer. I don't know about I guess I'm uh I'm e I'm easy basically. Okay. I think uh, another twenty minutes for me works. Okay. Yeah, okay. for me too. Okay, okay. Yes. Um yeah. Does that sound like a plan? Like we we try to keep her there, know how they're Yeah, it, it sounds like I mean I think it makes sense. Okay. Yeah. I was I was thinking could we sort of like um I mean are you still uh, uh are we sort of still holding the orb? It is, it is yeah, in, it. yeah, it's in Ilona's possession, yeah. Okay. I so, would say they haven't objected to Ilona having the orb. Okay. But uh, obviously you're not physically holding it with your hands. You like put it in your pocket or something, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Because I was wondering, like, um, if there was a way to sort of... Because um, obviously the orb, I, I suppose, activated the skeletons, right? So I was, I'm wondering if there's a way to, like, turn it off. <laughs> Put them back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that they get, like, you know, so they go back to, like, go back to their rest, as it were, you know? Um, But, like... Uh, obviously, if we don't really know how to use the orb, then that's probably not an option. She said also if we have, like, the, the gift of the, the god that it's, like, invoking. Right. The favor, not necessarily the favor. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, could I try to do that? Like... Pray to an ancient deity? Sure, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> try to, like, make the orb work to, to turn it off. <laughs> how, um... <laughs> How do you pray that to this ancient forgotten god? Oh. Well, I know his name. You and do? wasn't didn't you say it before? Acacius, Acacius. Yeah. Um I just clasp the orb and like in my head say please. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happens. Ash. Nah. Okay. 
Um, okay. She's st- the skeleton is still like looking expectantly at the two of you, look, looking for you to, to say something. <laughs> I mean, I do think uh, uh, what Ilona said, like what Ashen said um, uh, about kind of making her, like, like saying that we're going to like make sure that she can, or something, like kind of tricking her to stay behind or something, makes sense to me. Is if I'm ready to moon in? Uh, sorry? Is it fine by you as well that we do? Yeah. Yeah, sorry, I okay. thought that's what you said. Uh, yeah, that's fine by me. Um, then I tell her that it's not really safe yet for her, but we will finish the last deed to like make it safe so she can come. Do you need our assistance? Uh, no, I don't think it's safe for you yet. We need to be Loki. Then we shall wait here. If, well. If you won't be back in, let's say, two weeks, we will know that we'll have to cut our way out and back to Rim. Back. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> uh. I guess we take our leap then, or what do we do? Uh, I mean, I mean, I think it's better for us to kind of try to discuss this like outside or something. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I think like we, we have should, two like, weeks to figure this out. Y- yeah, more or less. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah. It looks, sounds good. Sounds good. Two weeks. Maybe two and a half. <laughs> um, and the skeleton will say, um, "And a piece of advice, grandchildren: don't let your slaves act so insolently in the future." <laughs> okay. Huh? I guess we take our leave then. Yeah, I guess. <clears throat> yeah. Well, like very hastily, like with fear <laughs> looks, like running through the hallway. <laughs> yeah. I shall await you here, she says. <laughs> okay. Are we like outside or free to go? Do you uh, all walk outside? I think so. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you will not be stopped as you walk outside, but you do see, like, of, of also in the rooms that you walked in previously, that the skeletons are now active and about, and they do look at you with curiosity. Uh, they look at Moonin with, like, a little bit of disdain, I will mention. Um, mm-hmm. And But otherwise, nobody will stop you. You will see the entrance is still uncovered. Uh, you don't see, like, any damage from, like, the earthquake okay. from when you came. Uh, I will say, um, I will say, uh, once I put it on screen, and this is probably like where we will end today's episode, that, oh, don't tell me I forgot to, yeah, I forgot to upload something, um, talk, st- talk among yourselves for like, uh, two minutes while I upload something, BRB. <laughs> Uh, I think it would be a good idea once we're out of here to like try to seal the door again. If I can just yeah, the I thought about that. <laughs> yeah, for sure. To see if it locks. <laughs> yeah. Maybe like we take some stones as well. And, like, <laughs> 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 yeah. I was um, I was thinking obviously because this is like very obviously a magic orb. Mm-hmm. Um, like the guy that wants it, we could just be like. Oh, um, we uh, obviously it's probably a good idea to figure out why he wants it. Yeah. Before we feel that we have it. Yeah. Maybe I don't know. Maybe we can like talk with him a bit about it and like ask um if we like where we can do some research about it. Like if <laughs> we can read something in the library about the orb or yeah. Like, okay. While doing that, gaining as much knowledge as possible, how it works as well. You may now yeah. divert your attention to the screen as as you walk outside. This is what you see. Oh, shit. What oh, no. happened? It all died? Oh, the <laughs> land seems very much dead. Oh, no. With oh, the boy. epicenter around us, like two, uh, two standing stones. Yeah. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> um, that's obviously from like uh, 
I guess that's obviously from The Awakening, right? So this is... I mean, I, <laughs> correlation does not equal causation. What can I say? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, um, does it look like it's, like, sp spreading, or is it, like... Well, you're not able to see, like, to that far, because not you're, you're not at, like, a high place, but you do see, like, more or less, like, as far as you can see that the land is now dead. Yeah, of course. Shit. And oh, no. I think it's a good spot to end today's episode. As you do uncover the actual legacy of the Rimlin, ancient magic. Ooh. That is so cool. Like, <laughs> I didn't think it would take this turn, but this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was really <laughs> interesting. <laughs> so what did you all think of today's session? Great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was no, a it was, lot of fun. It, it was sick, thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you yeah. hear it. Um, I was hoping that we would get this far uh, that and that I would be able to show you the changed map, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, we were just like gonna spend all the time in the the tower. Just <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you you didn't walk away empty-handed. You did get some a bunch of golden coins, which are very very valuable. Right. Mm. Mm. Yes. Might even be enough to ransom a certain someone's sister. Who knows? Oh. <laughs> ah. Ooh. I hope so. I mean, then I don't need the money from him, so we can totally not give him the orb. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. Um, yeah, this was uh, this was a lot of fun. I think we're um, settling more in our group dynamic. Do you all um, have any other thoughts before we go into our uh, usual shoutouts? <clears throat> um, I don't think so. I think I'm sort of. You know. Yeah, I agree. I think like things kind of flowed. It was fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very fun. Um, Loved it. I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad to hear it. So, dear viewers, thank you very much for watching and listening to us. Now I'm going to ask these lovely people to talk a little bit about themselves and about their projects, etc., etc. Um, and. I did just roll some dice in the background to like determine the order these lovely people should go in, and they have decided that <laughs> um, show and tell, as usual, <laughs> should go first. Uh, can you please go ahead and talk about yourself and what you're doing? Sure, I'm show and tell. I have uh, I, my YouTube channel is actually called Show Seven Tell, and you, I mean, I basically react to shows and talk about you know i talk about them in depth after ever mm -hmm. every episode that i watch and um and uh, yeah i have a lot of fun so you can totally <laughs> check me out if you want mm -hmm. and her ch her channel definitely is a lot of fun thank you very much <laughs> thanks mm -hmm. next according to unless there's anything else uh no okay Next, according to the dice I rolled, Ashen, could you please go ahead? All right, um, I'm Ash. I like to draw stuff and create stuff. And if you're into that, uh, you can find me on Instagram. Uh, the link should be there. Her art is really well done. She also drew her uh, character portrait that you can see at the beginning of the episode. Um, she, she draws great. Thank you, Ashen. Uh, and next... Delhi, could you please go ahead and talk a little bit about yourself? Of course. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Delhi. Um, so I am a uh, goblin VTuber. You can find me on Twitch. Uh, so I'm a variety streamer, so I play pretty much any game uh, <laughs> that I feel like playing that day. Um, and I love new people in the stream. I love uh, seeing new chatters in the stream. So if you guys want to sort of come over and like... Uh, play some games and then absolutely feel free <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I definitely recommend his stream anything else? Uh, no I think that's it okay uh, again uh, all our links are in the description below uh, as well as on screen and 
I was your dungeon master, Tyrnor. I sometimes, when I have the time, which isn't very often at all, do videos on video game lore and like mix it with like real life history, but again, not very often. I also do this series, which is a lot of fun, and all these people are very lovely, and another uh, tabletop campaign set in the Warcraft universe that we, that's been going for like a year at this point, and that's also a lot of fun as well. Other than that, um, yeah, thank you to everyone for watching and listening to us. Uh, we will be back next week with another episode, and we shall see you then. Take care, everybody. Goodbye.